Here's the setup for today's video. The high pressure compressor at the top left is connected to the uh, high pressure tank made up from an old CO2 tank which is connected to the 177 BB cannon which is set up for full auto fire off high pressure air right now. Here's a look at the compressor. The yellow uh, airline leading to the uh, regulator on the right hand side is a 125 PSI shock airline to the uh, compressor's suction input. The reason why I have the regulator there is if I go above 25 or 30 pounds roughly of pressure on the intake side of the compressor, this particular compressor just locks up solid. So I have to use a regulator, but even uh, only using 20 to 30 pounds on the inlet side, it fills up my high pressure tank four or five times faster than not boosting the pressure a little bit on the intake side. Here's a look at the CO2 bottle. And now we'll go over the manifold and connections. Normal CO2 tank valve. I then put a ball valve there because, well, all the threads matched and everything and it gives me an extra on-off. Then I have this manifold. Back here is the line out from the high-pressure compressor. So air can come out of there, go in and pressurize the tank. Then over here I have my output coupler and line which can lead to an air cannon. And this middle position here, I just have a plug, but eventually there's going to be a pressure gauge there when I come across a pressure gauge that I like. That brings us to the 177 air cannon. It's now able to get a good supply of high pressure air at good volume. So it's set up with the uh, full auto uh, stick mag that holds uh, a little over a hundred steel BBs. 177 caliber, 36 inch barrel. Target for this video is an empty Sprite can held in a small vise by its pull tab.
Well, here's the remains.